G'day, Mick here from Zed Girls Australia. Today I'm going to do my very first ever brisket. And that's the honest truth, I've never done a brisket before. So we're going to do it in the 700E Zed Girls today. So here's our nice simple rub. So we're just going to mix that up. Going to trim up some of the excess fat here. Now again, I've never done this before, so I am absolutely just going with my instinct here. So if you're a butcher and you're laughing, laugh away. I don't mind. I'm not even going to talk about the anatomy of this meat because I will make myself sound stupid. We've got the flat and we've got the point. It's a big piece of brisket, which I'm going to cook in the Zeg grill, and that's about as much information as I'm going to give you today. All right, so there we have it. I am going to put a lovely rub on this. So we'll open the lid, turn on to smoke, start that up. Let's do it. Oh, and now we've got some smoke. So we can close the lid, take her up to 107. These European wasps are driving me absolutely crazy. Oh, there she goes. Okay, so we're just setting up probes in our meat and also a probe behind the meat so we can monitor the temperature inside the grill. Uh, this is on the inkbird. All right, so we've got three temperatures. So we've got 9, 8 and 58. Um, I put this on early because the uh, wasps were attacking me, so forgive me for being impatient. So on our inkbird we can see we're 52 degrees at this end of the brisket and we're about 39 at the other end. And we can also see the temperature in this corner is about 101 and about 107 on this back left hand corner. So a little bit warmer at this end. I'm actually gonna flip the whole brisket around so the fatter end is in this warmer end of the grill. She is looking a little bit dry. So I'm gonna give a bit of a spritz. A bit of apple cider vinegar. Okay, the time has come to wrap this because we are up to 66, 72. I waited until we got about that 70 degree temperature. Um, and so I'm gonna wrap it in foil. I'm not a huge fan of wearing gloves, but uh, for the brisket, apparently you gotta wear fancy black gloves. So here I am. Layer one. One, two, three. Oh. Woo. Hot. I'm actually gonna take one of these gloves off because I do not like wearing gloves at all. Mm. I hate gloves. We want to wrap this very tightly. I'm going to add a cup of uh, beef stock into here so we can get a little bit of moisture in there. So wrap nice and carefully so I don't rip anything. And as you can see, this is a big piece. We're going to do double wrap. I might wrap this direction now. It's important to have a nice thick foil. Big end over here, put our probes back in. So what I'm going to do now is just adjust the target temperature or the alarm, the custom alarm, to about 95 on this. Seven hours in, wrapped at 70 degrees. Okay, so it's now quarter to nine. We have been cooking this brisket for nine hours, 55 minutes, wrapped at seven hours, so three hours wrapped. Now well and truly up to temperature. 93.95, so I am going to do some probing, and if it's nice and tender, probed like butter, I'm going to wrap it in my lovely starry cloth here, and then I'm going to stick it in the esky. Let's have a look. Oh, no resistance. I'm going to call it, I'm taking it off. Oh, there we go. Rappity wrap, wrap. It's a nice steam coming out there. I'm going to wrap tightly and into my rather small, pathetic esky. We have to jam this in here. All right, actually it might be perfect size. Go in, go in, Ugh. all right. Two hours later, time to slice. Okay, have a look inside. It's not bad at all. Pretty happy with that. So, bend test, pull test. It's a pretty thick bit. But nice smoke ring. 
Tastes really good. I'm actually really happy with that. Good bark, good flavor. Not bad at all. It's my first try. I didn't put a crazy amount of rub on there, but it's really actually quite tasty. All right, I'm just laying all these different cuts out. Brisket, brisket, brisket. Now, here's what I found. It's a complicated bit of meat. There's so many different parts. You've got these lovely long flat, obviously the flat pieces here. Um, nice spark all the way around, nice smoke ring. Um, obviously at the bottom here you've got these fatty bits here. I'm not gonna try and use the right names, I don't know what they're called. But you've got like one, two, three, four, five, like six different parts, all with slightly different textures, different fat levels, different flavors. Super tender, really good flavor. And again, the, the, the rub I had that was super simple. But I mean, these little chunky bits at the end. Mm. Really good. That's fantastic. So I'm very happy with that, my first go. Delicious, that's what I call it. Cheers.